Hello. This Hello, Mr. President. Edgar? Yes. Yeah. I wanted to tell you that I was so damn mad when that Supreme Court had to come down. I did, first, I didn't like their decision, but I didn't either. unbelievable, wasn't it? It was unbelievable. You know, those clowns we've got on there, I, I'll tell you, I hope I outlive the bastards. Well, I hope yeah. you do, too. Uh, I mean, politically, too, because by, we've got to change that court. I, there's no question yeah. about that whatsoever. Yeah. I had thought it was a possibility of a five to four. Yeah. You know, I thought I thought we ought to get white. What's the matter with him? I don't. Well, of course, with a white is a yeah. whole Kennedy yeah. crowd. Right. You know. But then the other one know what in the hell is the matter with Stewart? Well, Stewart is a is a it, very wishy-washy individual. He switches from one side to yeah, the other. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I wasn't surprised that he, yeah. he on this thing he switched. Yeah. Well, I suppose he's affected with the Georgia, the Georgetown thing. But what I was going to say is that uh, that uh, the uh, uh, that when I was the day we went over to to your place yeah. and I was trying to. Uh, but we all, we, it made the news all right, but, uh, the news. but the point is, the point is that if, if it hadn't been for that stinking court decision, we'd have been the lead story, you know. It would have been the lead story. Uh, and it should have been. And it, it should yeah. have been. Your, your remarks were simply wonderful, yeah. I thought. Well, we got, I thought it was good to lay it on the line with those fellows. And you know, you know that line that the ear of per permissiveness is in that, and you notice I thought it was really great to when I said, and I hope that you, you had your people get this one down, because it, in the 23 years that I've known the director, that he has always, he has never served a party. He has always served right. his country. That sort of summed it up, didn't it? It did. And I ordered today that a copy of your speech came over from the White House today. Yeah. And I ordered that it be printed in our national in the uh, law enforcement bulletin, which oh. goes to about fifteen right. uh, hundred, fifteen thousand. Uh, law, uh, uh, police departments in Good. the country. Oh, uh, that's fine. So it'll, it'll well, be in I, there. Well, I wanted to get out there, but I, but it, it got some, it got some, uh, got, a, got a good play, and I was glad to, glad that we could, uh, could give it a shot. Well, because, I deeply appreciate yeah. what you did, because it, it certainly was wonderful of you to do it. Yeah, and well, it, I wanted to. <laughs> I, mean, I know you may have wanted to, but yeah. it was wonderful to do it at a time when they've been shooting from all sides at you, you know. Oh, heck, as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, you know, one thing I was gonna uh, gonna ask you, uh, a lot of people have a feeling that I ought to, uh, not a lot. Some if they're all mixed, as a matter of fact. Some people think that now that this court has acted, that I ought to make a statement about the freedom of the press and that we are trying to censor them and so forth. My inclination, uh, whatever is worth, is not to say so. I'll tell you. I think you're right. Uh, I I kind of think I should stay out. But what's your what's your public relations judgment on it, Edgar? I just like to know. Public relations uh, judgment, uh, uh, Mr. President, is that you should remain absolutely silent about it. You would. Uh, I would. Now, what's your, now you you don't think that uh, that that's uh, any great problem that they uh, they've been. Uh, uh, you know, that naturally been charging that we have been trying to keep the press from printing the truth about oh, the war and so forth. I don't think that's involved because, as a matter of fact, these papers don't harm you one bit. No, actually, that stories in the in the, in the Post and Times this morning were all about Kennedy and well, DM. Kennedy, he was the one who started it, and then yeah. Lyndon Johnson escalated it, and then you inherited it, and you have brought it down. You never sent an additional man in there. But you brought it down, yeah. and I think what they're trying to do is to bait you into, into taking a position that uh, the freedom of the press ought not be to that, to that extent. And yeah. I think we ought to be awful careful what we do in this case of this man Ellsberg, mm -hmm. because there again, they're going to make a martyr out of him. Mm -hmm. All of the press of the country are going to cause, come to the front mm -hmm. end uh, that he's a martyr, yeah. and when you, what the Supreme Court has now said, uh, I doubt whether we're going to be able to get a conviction of him. Mm -hmm. I hope so, but I doubt it. We've got a good, strong case on him, mm -hmm. and his wife, test his first wife, testified very uh, vigorously against him, and uh, mm -hmm. it it's a good, strong case. But well, I I'd like to check some of the other people around him. That's the others. There's, I think exactly. there's a conspiracy involved here. Of course, this fellow Sheehan of the New York Times is involved. This fellow Jack Anderson here in Washington, that skunk that we have here. Is he in it too? Oh yeah, he's in it. He was at the at the post yeah. and had copies made. Yeah. I saw her on the TV last night, Mrs. Graham. I would have thought she's about 85 years old. Yeah. She's only about, I think, uh, something oh. like 57. Oh, no, I know that. Yeah. And I, I had an idea she was a great deal older when I looked at her last night. Yeah. She's aged terribly. She's a terrible old bag. Oh, she's an old bitch in my estimation. <laughs> That's right. But uh, 
I, I, I think from your point of view, it would be very advised. You don't think we should? I should say anything. I don't think point. you should say anything. I, I, Just let it cool off. Let the papers come out and let them reflect on whoever they reflect. What they want to print, it doesn't reflect upon you. You had nothing to do with all of this. No, I had nothing. It does not, nothing of it is about me. You know. Not at all. And therefore, thing. if you enter it now on the grounds of freedom of the press, or anything of that, then they'll, it's the very thing that the enemies of, of the administration want to do is to divert the attack upon you. Mm -hmm. and not upon Kennedy and not upon Johnson. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, I think what's going to happen, I think Lyndon Johnson will ultimately burst forth himself. Yeah. Because... He ought to. You know, he's a tough individual. He ought to defend himself. He, I, I, yeah. I think he will. Yeah, well... And, and I think for that reason, you yeah. know, your silence would be just the thing... Well, I don't certainly plan to say anything until I have a chance to look over the weekend I, and see what the... Well, I, and, I uh, you waited very yeah. carefully because, because I think they're trying to bait you yeah. into taking the position. This fellow Stanton, who's now going to be cited by the Congress for contempt of court, yeah. uh, he shot his mouth off today. And uh, I, think the, I think the House of Representatives will cite him for contempt. <laughs> he ought to be oh, cited boy. for contempt. Yeah. But uh, uh, let that be yeah. his battle, not yeah. yours. Yeah, I'm not going to, oh, I'm not having nothing to do with him. No. That's the House. That's the House. It's up to let them. Him, let them have their fun. And they had a unanimous vote in the committee. It wasn't divided. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's up for him to fight out. He right. talks about the, the opinion of yesterday as being in his favor and so forth. It has nothing to do with, with what the House is doing. Well, the other the opinion yesterday had nothing to do with the Pentagon. None uh, with uh, 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 selling the Pentagon. They had lied about the Pentagon, as they've lied about so many things. Yeah. CBS yeah. is one of the worst yeah. networks yeah. on the right. on the circuit today. Right. But I would certainly give awful careful thought by well, just remaining silent. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm glad to get that advice. I'm going to be meeting in about an hour with these guys, and I'll... Uh, I'll have that in mind. Fine. Well, good to talk to you, and, uh, and I want to thank uh, you again for the. Yeah. Well, well, I appreciate the cufflinks. <laughs> it was wonderful. Uh, I appreciate the cufflinks. Thank Bye. you. Goodbye. Uh,